Right, Cersei T, guys. Yeah, man. Tonight we're gonna talk about how you can cleanse the blood. Enough people don't believe in these things, as I've mentioned many times. But it, Cersei is very hard to get, and a lot of people may live overseas and can't get it. Some people use bitter gall or a bitter gall. I don't know, quite even remember the name of the gall. If it is bitter gall. Is an in, in Indian um, fruits, yeah. So, um, freedom, some thirty three. Your food is so good. Thank you so much, honey. Big up yourself. Esther Delicious is in the building. Big up all of you guys who are just live on and sharing the support. All right. So this is Cersei, right here, guys. If you don't know what is Cersei, Cersei is um, it's a plant which grow in Jamaica. It run on the ground, but it is also bitter, all right? But it is a very, um, very powerful um, herb to use at home to detox the body and also um, help you with help you with a lot more stuff so when i was young and growing up my grandmother used to tell me say all oh, young man you need to drink this because it will help you <laughs> and i always like when my grandmother used to give me i would just say oh over 50 happy new year sharon thank you so much for coming on the show i appreciate every one of you guys who are taking the time so if any one of you guys know what is this it is Cersei very important so this will help to cleanse your blood and cleanse your gut all right your gut and also your blood all right we have that one now this one, it is bitter wood. We're gonna put a few ingredients into it this evening to make it work the way we want it to work. This one is dry bitter hood. Sharon is supposed to know what is bitter hood and all these things and Cersei. These are in Jamaica. Beautiful one. We got cloves, also we're going to use. Write down the ingredients, you might need it one day. Let's go for it. All right, so the first thing, what we are going to do is to get the secret ball. All right, we're gonna get the secret ball and we're going to put some baking soda in the water all right sorry guys let's open up the screen a little bit more i think i have the screen too close up my advice if i me like you all right don't be like the pharisees and go up in anybody that take note of jesus write down the ingredients all right yeah some simple little things very effective and it will help you don't be like the ask to the whale and don't want to drink the water i thought these things many times guys all right write down the ingredients you may need it one day you might just say okay i know that kind of recipes yes you may know the recipe but not every recipe you know because some of chef recorder recipe you don't know them so right here we're going to put this into the water and get rid of any parasite anything on it it's going to work. All right. Now, we're going to put some, this is some, we we'll call this thing, um, this is sorrel. I'm going to put some sorrel in it. We're going to wash off all of these. Lovely. That's gonna give 
give it a lovely color and change the color around. Saril in Jamaica is very good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let me see what is this. All right. It's not gonna take long. My advice is to rather write on the ingredients, guys. So we're going to make these into the water for a little bit to remove any parasite or any dirt or anything on it. I like to wash my ingredients. We're gonna get these bitter hood, put them in the water also. All right, right on the ingredients. Yeah. All right, here's just a big up a set. Let's put this one side. And we're going to get a medium sized pot right here. As usual, this is Chef Ricardo's secret recipes to success to life. Before we go any further, let's quickly run through the secret recipes to success to life. Here it is, you need to get yourself a copy. Yeah, get yourself a copy of the book and support. You have a thing named support. You know what I mean? We know that everyone is not rich. And everyone is not have certain things, but at the end of the day, one another wash, one another hand. Good advice. Get yourself a copy and support. One cups of water. All right. Yeah. You know, I was watching a little thing. <laughs> I was watching something on YouTube, yeah? And to show you everything work every little nickel maker works i was watching a video and it's, it was a true story because i was thinking it was a fake and it was a true story and the guy is a multi billionaire and he put on some clothes just to give you a little idea turn on the cooker he put on some clothes and he was going through london like a mad person and on this side he put one he put one thousand pound and this side he say i am poor i am begging a one pound and everyone was looking at him and thinking he was a madman and he was crazy because the way he's dressed and he was scared but pity then didn't know who the person was some people know who he was but some didn't know and the first person who come and shake the guy hand he gave him that thousand pound now i'm gonna just give you a little breakdown to say sometimes a lot of people have been listening but they're not taking heed, you know what I mean? That's why you got two years. And sometimes you might have said, okay, I know this kind of recipe, I know this, but yeah, sometimes you need to, because me as a person, I watch a lot of videos and a lot of things and I listen to a lot of stories, I listen a lot of things and, you know what I mean? I like to write down, even if me not spell it right, I still write down because I will be needed one day, all right? I write it on a piece of note and I put it to one side. It is important for you to write, listen, write and put down because you may need it one day. Trust me, you might need it one day. It happened millions of times over and over and over and over. Just like the builder. When he's building the house, the stone he refuse is the main stone he need. So sometimes we are here making these kind of cup of tea and a lot of people just watching the video, but they're not taking heed. It is important because one day you might in your house and you have the ingredients, but you didn't know what to do. You can remember and say, oh, I remember Chef Ricardo was doing that. I'm gonna try. Good vibes. All right, let's go for it now. We're gonna put a few cloves. We've been using cloves over the last couple of weeks and cloves is good for your gut. Let's put a fuse in it. All right. Bitter melon. Yes, Williams. Yeah, we're using bitter melon sometime. I use it before. It's very good. Yeah, bit, bitter, bitter. Yeah, it's very, very good. We're not gonna um I'm gonna show you something we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna get a little piece of a ginger. And 
put into the water. Nice, the chef caught up. That is good. Man. Then we're going to put some bitter. This is the bitter hood into the water. Like this. The bitter hood. When I was young, and I, I born in, you know, I mean, I grew up in Jamaica 95% of my time. I grew on my grandmother. And she used to go to the bush and she used to go up in the hills and to the valley. And she lived very long. Very, very long. Almost a hundred and something a year. So she lived very long. All right. And I remember she used to say to me, you need to drink Cersei tea before you go to school in the morning because it's good for worm in your gut. Now, a lot of people who eat meat and eat a lot of meat and eat a lot of meat and eat a lot of meat. I'm not, gonna, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional or anything, but sometimes when you're eating too much meat, it delivers up worm in your gut. Yeah, just like how... When, if I know when you were a little boy, I grew up, come up and say, you, I don't know if your grandparents ever tell you these things. Uh, be careful, don't eat too much sweet stuff. You may have worm in your gut, so you need to drink this. And she will give you Cersei tea or bitterhood. So when I was young and growing up, I grew up on a lot of um, bitterhood and Cersei tea. I used to drink it in the morning. Sometimes I didn't want to drink it because it was so bitter. I hear my grandmother would say, you need to drink it. It's good for you. But about 30 years later, when, I'm, when my grandma passed off and I'm doing my own research, the same thing where she was telling me 30 years ago is the same thing was in the book. But the sad thing you are looking at, she didn't have a phone with, with internet and she didn't have a computer, but they know all of these things that these things works, all right, guys? My grandmother didn't know not about cell phone or anything, but she know these things work. And another one named fever grass, very, very good, and lemon grass. Lemon, lemon, the lemon leaf, very good too. Now, next one is very good, sour sap leaf. She used to give me sour sap leaf to drink, also in the morning. I'm telling you some things which I know, and I remember I'm mean, talking about like decades, like half a century. So it's a very long time. You're never too old to learn. All right. So, by the way, I'm giving God thanks I live for so long and live to see my grandmother live for so many years and long. So that was good. All right. So that's boiling. Let's get our Cersei. Carefully, but there's dirt and mess can be in this thing. Yeah. This is the Cersei. Straight into the water. of sorrel in the water it's gonna change the color of it because that is very good for you guys
And this is some of my favorite, which I was have boiling off earlier, washing off. This is rosemary. Lovely. All right. Boil up some bush now, night here. I grew up on a whole pot empty here, Jamaica. Man. Cersei, Bitterhood, you name it. Str uh, whole heap of them. <laughs> Lots of them I grew up on. Alright. Yeah. So, what I did, I put some sorrel in it. And the last time I was in Jamaica, I drink a whole heap of Bitterhood. Because it is something which is. Very, very powerful and very good. Alright, you can also put some bay leaf inside of it if you like to. Because bay leaf do play a good role. Guys, you can write on the ingredients because sometimes they're important. Be a leaf, very, very important. You can make all a big portion of this and you know, keep it, drink it because I may put a little bit more water because I'm gonna need it for tomorrow, some of for tomorrow. Yeah, um, if you want to get sour sap. Leave to buy, it is online. You can get bitter hoodie. One of these, you can get them online to buy now. Just make sure you're getting the right thing. Yeah, but. Yeah, I put some sorrel in it. Because trust me, guys, sorrel is very, very, very good for the immune system and for the body. As you can see, I may just put a two more pieces of a bitter hood. If you guys know what is bitter hood, bitter hood is this little hood very bitter let's put a few more in it so this can help to cleanse the blood and the gut God, these things do work guys 100 percent cersei bitter wood yeah, the rest of the ingredients and um, we don't have to some cloves and some ginger i just put the extra ingredients because i know sometimes you add a little bit more ingredients to things it's more stronger and it more effective into your immune system and help you a lot you know as you can see all right so i can i know that i have a nice cup ready for tomorrow which i can also drink after I pour out a cup out of this. Oh my god, I can taste that bitterness already, man. It's not nice though. Trust me. It's not a nice drink. But it's the benefit I'm talking about and why you should drink it. It's good for the blood and it's good for in the immune system. Um uh, Alright, Craig, don't worry yourself. Next time you, you ask me about them things, I'm gonna give you some remedy. Come have new recipe you now. <laughs> uh, Craig is in the building, man. Big up yourself. He's one of the main pilots, you know. Sometimes we make the plane fly without him. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's coming up to Christmas, you know, and everywhere's gonna close up early, so you guys have to do what you have to do. Yeah, but guys, this is not that easy drink. As you can see. Alright. We've got a few nice, lovely ingredients in it. The main thing is the bitter wood and the Cersei. Those are the two main ingredients you need. And once you have those two things, you can always add things to it. Alright? And make yourself a nice, lovely drink at home. Oops. All right, let's turn off the cooker, you know, and make it sleep into the water for a few more minutes. Yeah, good vibes. Very powerful recipe, guys. Powerful, powerful 
recipe as i said i drink Cersei tea over and over and over let's see the benefit of Cersei because we made this day i talk i talk i talk i talk i talk and you know what i mean my audience don't even know what's going on all right the benefit of Cersei we want to see the benefit of Cersei We might there talk talk on my audience that even know what's going on. Alright. Okay. Cersei T. fight against curing cold and flu and all uh, other stuff so all right now if you got if you if you guys want to take a note of this take a note of this and read it for yourself how powerful Cersei is and all of the people I'm over on the other social media want to see you need to go over to my YouTube channel where I'm posting Take a note of this guys. This the benefit of Cersei. Let's let's see. Let's um pin this. That's the guys can read this information. I know I did it before still, but I can always share it again. And this is what shot me up to till today. We are talking about almost 50 years ago until today, and it's still have a shock in my life. Oh my grandmother didn't know these things. So these are questions I would love to ask. How my grandmother know all of these things that these things did good for us. Alright? Read that for yourself and you can understand why Chef Ricardo do this cup of tea tonight at Read it for yourself. Open up your eyes and read that note. I just pin it and my a lot of people know Cersei tea, that's who born in Jamaica, but if you're not born in Jamaica. Uh, your grandparents that are from Jamaica or whatever. But some people might heard about Cersei but then don't know the full 100% benefit of Cersei tea. Cersei is very powerful. Alright. Powerful antioxidant. Full of green tea. Cersei has the ability to fight inflammation and lower your cholesterol level and protect your health. Guys. This thing right here, I grew up on it. You see this? A lot of people, if people ever know how powerful this thing is in Jamaica, they would be start drinking it on a regular basis. It is a very powerful herb. When, when we said powerful, we mean like very powerful because I read up a lot of information on it. Kingfire, what's going on? All right. We're talking about the Cersei tea tonight and why people should drink Cersei tea. I brought about six pack of Cersei tea, guys. Six pack of Cersei tea, I brought it. And I say, I will be making Cersei tea for a couple of days. But in January, I want to do it. All right. Cersei tea is also rich in vitamin A and vitamin C and potassium and iron. What support? wish to support the immune system and fighting it's good for your fungus it's good for your, oh my god i don't even want to talk about this thing tonight this is an, an amazing one yeah guys look at the information which i'm just sharing with you that's what you need to look at because this these are research like let me see how long these research done for these are like three, four, eight, five, six years ago. All right, and they are oh, lots near. Um, it is Cersei tea is good for your blood pressure. Let's see what it's saying. Cersei tea grow as a vein and it is used as a tea. It is good for diabetic worm in your gut. Let me say it again. Not for you guys who are talking, uh, you know what I mean, and a laugh and a this and that. Some of the ladies who are looking beautiful and looking nice, it said, worm in your gut. 
in your stomach. It said, and it's also, I tell you that it also helped to help with high blood pressure. And also help to lower your blood pressure and your blood sugar. So beautiful people, you call them pretty like diamond. It is telling you, this, this article is saying, also remember, worm also in your gut. Oh yes, yes, worm in your gut. But we can't see it physically. Because a lot of people eat meat, they eat vegetables, they eat a lot of things, and things take time to build up inside of your gut. But anyway, I share this information with you so you guys can read it for yourself. So that's why I say sometimes it is very important for you to detox your body and also cleanse your body on a regular basis. You could have pretty like diamond. You could have pretty like the, the gold where <laughs> this is what it's saying. It's not me writing it. It is article. And this is from the health side. It's long list of it. It's a very, very long list. What is the other name of Cersei T? Let me see what they call it. I can't call it, call it Asasasati. <laughs> There's another name for it. This article was published in 2020 26. This one was 2013. This one was. Let me see. Let me give you this one. Let me post this one. Right this. So these are things where people don't even understand. And they, they men go and do research. All right. And it works. Just like how they go and do research. For medication to help you to lower your blood pressure and to help you to control your blood pressure is the same thing man go and do research on these natural herbs to see if it can help you at home all right so jamaican people need to wake up and need to drink all these things and stop have them over there wasting because i saw cersei growing wasting like it's not like like they don't know what is it for this is a powerful thing. All right, let's go for it. What's the other name of Cersei T? Let me just publish this one also. A fresh pot of Cersei T also. I can't even call that word, man. I don't even want to go there with it. 2016, this article published. So if you guys, I will give the other name of it. Lovely. All right, that one. Does Cersei lower cholesterol level? You tell you already, the benefit of Cersei T, of Cersei and Cersei T, reduce high blood pressure due to the, the gun antioxidant. All right, let's publish this bit. Because, I, and this was like in 2001, that's like a very long time ago that, 2001 this article has written this the question i want to ask oh my grandmother didn't know so many things about cersei t that's the question i would have asked her if she was around today how come she knows so many things about this because she grew me up on it let's all right i may have to um This thing is a powerful thing, guys. Very, very powerful thing. If you want to drink it for at least 10 working days, guarantee any problem you have in your gut or in your blood or any problem, just don't add any sugar to it, it's going to help you. <laughs> Trust me. That's, that's what I believe is going to help you. So let me copy about this bit because I'm going to finish up the show now and close off the show wow i have a lot of research on it i even have it on my website if you guys want to get more information because i got cersei t on my website chefrecorder.co.uk you can go over and read up some of the benefit of cersei t is one of the most powerful herb ever give among mankind where you should be using it's bitter and you can add a few more ingredients to it and support the the, the 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 herbs right there lovely all right the question if you're allergic to cersei tea or you're on medication my advice seek medical professional before you make this cup of tea i will be drinking it for the next couple of days cersei tea Lovely. All right. 
Let me come right here, sir. All right, let me see what's going on right here. All right, I can't say I need to give you quite a few of the information about it and why you should drink it. Why you should drink Cersei tea and why it is good for us. So that's breaking news for a lot of people tonight. If you are just passing through on the YouTube channel, and they are saying, what is that in that patch of record? It is Jamaican Cersei tea. Very good for you. Drink it as much as you can. Drink it for a week and cleanse the body and see. The question I want to ask a lot of people, when last did you drink something to cleanse your blood and cleanse your immune system? Um, well, that's the question I love to ask. When last did you do a cleanse on your body? All right. Here it is. All right, guys. Yeah. I'm not going to make it too much of it. Too much. I don't want to throw too much because I want to drink some of it tomorrow. All right. Yeah, man. Here it is. Because I don't see what me I do. This is the Cersei, guys. Cersei tea. I'm going to put some more hot water on that. And leave it for sleep overnight for me to drink it tomorrow. Um, soup, can you recommend it anything for, uh, well, you know, sometimes you have to go to the doctor for those one, uh, HIV, um, it's better for you to go to the doctor and make the doctor because, you know, sometimes you have to check some professional to get certain things. Not, not, that's my advice is to seek a medical professional for that one. Yeah. All right. Here it is. Cersei tea. Very powerful, very good for you. And my advice to anyone who are listening, do a cleansing with Cersei tea. If you're allergic to, to it, I would say to you, um, make sure you seek a medical profession. And if you're on medication, make sure you are seeking a medical profession with the Cersei tea. So that's Cersei, all right? Now you can get this to buy online i saw a lot of people sell it online right jamaican cersei you can use bitter gold or bitter hood or whatever you want to call it you can use it my advice for anybody tonight who are listening get it make a cut especially if you are suffering from any kind of symptom because it's only the only thing what you eat can cause you for you to suffer from anything as i always said so if you are suffering from high blood pressure diabetic you're of Pain in your giant, pain in your back, any kind of thing. Sometimes changing your diet and cleansing the body can make the difference. You have lots of headache on a regular basis, then all of these things will help you. Remember today I was mentioning to you guys that I did not eat anything for the whole day. And it was like nothing. Full of energy, still good, still healthy, everything good. Until about in the evening I drink a little bit of oats porridge. And I drink the liquor juice. That was it for the whole day. All right? And here I am tonight doing another video with you guys. Trying to show you guys that if you are eating healthy and you're looking after yourself, trust me, you can move the mountain 100%. It's just you have to say to yourself, you know, I'm going to be changing. Because it's the food what we eat cause it. We cannot blame the government. We cannot blame no one. It's we ourselves. It's better what we were going to the supermarket and buying what we like and eating what we like and drinking what we like. It's expensive this and expensive that. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just simply sharing a little secret with you guys that if you are looking after yourself, trust me, you'll be all right. No pain, no headache, no sickness, no nothing. Everything is strong. One whole day, two fingers of banana, a little bit of smoothie, a little bit of oats porridge, and that was it. I wasn't on a fasting body, I wasn't hungry or anything. I was just, because if you drink certain things in the morning, it's giving you that energy and that boots. 
not for you to crave for certain kind of food and certain kind of things in the immune system. As I mentioned, I could cook oxtail, rice and peas, chicken, beef, lamb, vegetable. I could go to the shop and buy some chicken. Come home and make some beautiful stew chicken and some curry chicken. It doesn't need it. Sometimes we're going to have to close our eyes and leave it one side. A good vibes. Do not put any honey or sugar in it. Drink it naturally. But it is right here. All right, guys. Cersei tea. I put sorrel in it to change the color a little bit. Let's taste it. Ah, oh, my gosh. I'm joking, guys. It's good. It's pretty good. Really, really, really good. I thought we had expected for it to be more bitter, but it's pretty good. But my advice when you're drinking Cersei tea, anything bitter, do not drink it too hot. You're not going to enjoy it. It's going to be too bitter. You need it for it to cool and relax for a little bit, then you drink it. Good vibes. Anyway, breaking news. Get yourself a copy of the book. Okay? Yeah, man. Get yourself.